Hello, and welcome to What is Learning Kids of the Trip today! And yesterday! Okay, um, so I'm gonna start off with this bag, because this is yesterday's. And, um, the colors yesterday were blue, pink, and violet. Which, pink and violet, usually, that's a rare one, so. Um, so yeah, so I got all of these things. I don't know, I mean, the top one kind of boyish, but it looks like they're all different kinds. So, I just thought it'd be fun for the kids to color. Um, and it was only $2.90. And it was pink, so it's only $1 and whatever. Um, this is for me. It's just a book about wildflowers. My yard is full of weeds and stuff that is just, like, impossible to get rid of, so... Um, over the years, I've been trying to just let the things that I like grow, and I figured I would find out whether or not they're actually wildflowers, or if they are just weeds, or what, but, um, so that's where that came from. And I got these, okay, so I'm having a little bit of an issue with buying lots of fake fruit. I'm not entirely sure why, I have a couple reasons, but... I don't know, there, there's something else, some other reason I haven't quite figured out yet. But anyway, so like a couple weeks ago, I had gotten these ones originally for school, but then they were ceramic, so I was like, oh no, I gotta keep them here. But I kind of like having the little full decor thing, so when I saw this one that's all like Christmassy, I figured I'll exchange that out for the Christmas ones. And this is pretty much a completely pointless buy, but I do have friends who play music and stuff, so I'm sure one of them will appreciate it. It is a pick punch. Oh no, it doesn't come with any of the pick material though. Oh wait, it says, cool. Insert old credit cards, gift cards, hotel cards, plastic lids, or other thin plastic materials. Line it up, press it down, and out pops your new guitar pick. Pretty cool. I figured there'd be, like, things in there, too, but hey, whatever. So it's kind of like a stapler. Very cool. Kind of looks like something's stuck in there, but I guess maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Hmm. Interesting. We shall see. It doesn't look like it's ever been used, so I can't imagine it's broken. But. Okay, so that was yesterday. Now, today was Monday, which Mondays are always better, as you know. Um, and today they had green and orange as 33% off. And they had, still the same as yesterday, blue, pink, and violet as 50% um, off. So, the biggest purchase I made today was this coat. It was 1990 and it's orange, so 30% off that. So like 14, 15, something like that. And I have one almost identical to it. The one I have is a little shorter, but it's this exact same little pattern and the same material. And I love the one I have, but the pockets are starting to go in that one. And these ones, these pockets are fine. So, um, yeah, so I figured it was about time. And I was very good because there was another coat there that I really wanted, and I did manage to force myself to put it back. So, sometimes I can show just a little bit of restraint. Okay, anyway, so there's one, yeah, okay. There's so one more little thing for one of my kids at school. Uh, and I'm going to try really hard to not buy any more because I keep just... Every time I'm there, I want to buy him something. I don't know if he'll actually fit into this one. It says it's 24 months, though, so we'll see. Okay, so that was part of today. And then I got a whole bunch of baskets, which kind of comes back to this fruit thing. Because I was thinking for thanksgiving -y type stuff that I could have my kids each make a little basket of these fake fruit things. So, oh, there's a whole nother, I was gonna say, wait a minute, where are they? Um, I had these little baskets at first, but there's only four of them. 
So, I think there's only four of them. So, I have six kids, so I need two more or, you know, whatever. Uh, I got some more little glass bead things that you put in vases and stuff like that. And... Okay, here comes the fake fruit. <laughs> so, I got these ones. These ones are so cool. They're kind of like the pumpkin ones I got before that, like, have a little bit of a sparkle to them. And actually, they all look like they're supposed to be Christmas ornaments. They all have, like, a little thingy on them. So, maybe you're supposed to make, like, a fruit tree, kind of like the partridge in a pear tree. I don't know. But, yeah, the main reason I got them is I figure I can fill up each of the baskets. And they always have tons of these, so even if I run low, I'll sure I'll be able to find more. Um, this is just some Christmassy stuff, and it was, I think, yeah, it was one forty, so it's like a dollar, and I just figured, yeah, I can use bows, and I can use tinsel, so, sold. Alright, there's one more of these guys, and I did, I have to say, I did leave a few behind, too, so, again, restraint. Um, and then the last, well, okay. I got a post-it a post pop-up thingy, because I have tons of post-its at work, and I thought it was really pretty. And I got these two yarn-type things that I'm thinking I can use to um, sort of decorate those vases I got the other day. In fact, I'm going to grab one just to kind of give you an idea. So, here's the vase. And then I don't know. Do kind of like a spirally thing around it. Or something like that. And I got a bunch of different colors and stuff so I can kind of play with it and see which ones I like best. And anything that's left over, I'm sure I can find some kind of art project for. So, not a bad deal with those. Although these are a little expensive. 340 And a green, too. Is that one there? This one's $2.90, so a little cheaper. But, that is all of my treasures from the past two days. And I was almost going to try to make myself not go on Thursday because I have already gotten quite a haul here, but something tells me I'll still probably be filming on Thursday or Friday.